What's up guys? Welcome back to the den. In today's video, I want to show you guys my Nike ID collection. I'm a huge fan of Nike IDs, now known as Nike by you. So today's video is going to be a bit different from my usual format when I'm in the stock room. It's going to be a bit more casual. I'm just going to be pulling out some pairs, showing you guys, telling the stories around them, and it's going to be more like a collection type video. Before I get into the video, like always, if you enjoy my content, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, show some love always goes a long way and all the pairs that i'll be showing in the video will be available on my website when the video goes live definitely check out the website if you're interested in any of the pairs and yeah let's get into it Before getting into the shoes, just a very quick background on Nike ID. Nike ID was launched around 1999-2000 and was renamed in 2019 to Nike by You, which I'm not too sure why they did that. I thought Nike ID was a very good name, but now it's called Nike by You, but it's essentially the same thing. So the first pair that I want to show you guys is from Studio 255. Uh, I think that now Nike by You is 100% online, but Nike ID used to be also a platform in store where you could go into sort of Nike labs and design your own sneakers. And one of those stores was on 255 Elizabeth Street in New York, which was later on replaced by 21 Mercer. And this is one of the pairs that was designed at Studio 255. So this is actually not a pair made by a customer. This pair was the winning colorway of a design competition at Studio 255 for the 25th anniversary of the Air Force One with DJ Clark Kent headlining the jury. A thousand pairs were produced. I have a size eight and a half and a size 11 and a half. Both will be on the website and I'm a big fan of this shoe. Let me know what you guys think of this pair. Materials are super premium. I love the contrast stitching. Yeah, it's just a very, very premium pair. It's from 2007 and the tag reads Nike ID. And also I forgot to mention in 1999 when Nike ID was launched, it started with a pair of Air Force Ones. So only made sense to start the video with an Air Force One as well. Moving on to the next pair of Nike IDs. So this is not your typical Nike IDs. This is the Soul Collector Dunk Low from 2005. This pair actually had a proper release. Soul Collector magazine that held an event to showcase the new options of Nike ID. And what's special about this pair, the amount of materials and colors used on the pair. So you have red suede here, brown croc skin, yellow nubuck, beige suede again, black, reptile, regular leather, ostrich show box, then very unusual green midsole. And even the tongue, you have some burgundy kind of outline and uh, gray suede tongue. So pretty crazy shoe, but it does have the Nike ID branding on the tongue because obviously it was associated with the Nike ID program. And this is actually one of the rarest dunks out there. It's numbered out of, I believe, 214 pairs. They kind of remind me of the What the Dunk and also the eBay dunk. Let me know in the comments if you also see that resemblance with the What the Dunk. I think it's fair to say that this is the What the ID dunk just because it was literally using every possible material and color that was available. This pair is a size 13, very rare size. And there were actually two other pairs of Soul Collectors. This is the other New York Soul Collector pair and this one is inspired by the New York Yankees. Then you have this navy kind of nubuck upper with patent leather white panels as well this one actually has a card it's number 206 out of 226 and i don't think i have the card for the cowboy so this is the yankees pair the other one is called the cowboy what i also love about old nike ids is how premium everything was so here you have a dust bag it says soul collector obviously this was a special release with soul collector magazine but even regular nike ids were presented in a very premium way these are a size 12 and a half us and here's the third soul collector dunk and this is one of my favorites this is the vegas cowboy dunk high same kind of idea as the other ones there was an event this time in las vegas hair was designed specifically for that event to showcase probably the materials so here you have sort of croc skin leather and 3m you see there's little characters on there and they all have a sneaker instead of their head so kind of the sneaker head pair and this one is numbered out of 400 pairs this is number 390 the two new york pairs were dated 2005 this one is 2006 these are a size 14 
All right, moving on to another pair of Nike IDs. This is from the White Dunk exhibition. Crazy pair, once again. This pair has the same ostrich material on the toe box as the Soul Collector Lowe's, and it's actually from the same year, 2005. There was a sort of series of White Dunk Nike IDs with all slight differences where you could play around with the different materials and where you place them. And I think it was part of the White Dunk exhibition, which started in Paris with the Paris as be. and then it went to LA and Tokyo. I don't think that Paris got any of those white dunks but LA and Tokyo definitely did. This pair is from the Tokyo exhibition. So on the tongue it has the Japanese Nike website kind of like the Japanese flag. I love this detail it says white dunk on the heel and again like with the soul collectors you have the Nike ID on the tongue here. So I really love this pair the way this I think this was supposed to to be white the patent leather just yellowed with age which makes it really beautiful and it's a very rare pair of dunks I saw as well the LA version I think was designed with uh, Mr. Cartoon so you had the graffiti LA patch on the heel another very cool Nike ID that has a story and you could even link it to the whole city pack this pair is a US 10 and you can find it on my website or DM me if you're interested this is the Hanshin Tigers Nike dunk high so the Hanshin Tigers are the the baseball team from Osaka and I read that there were only 84 pairs made and they were made for the baseball team so I guess maybe players and staff members so very unique pair of Nike IDs because of that special branding on the heel and also the materials so the yellow parts are mesh and you have that black leather and this pair is fully dead stock you have the laces still attached Japanese tag on the other shoe and it also came with this paper which reads memorial card 2010 and then the text is in Japanese so I won't be able to read that out this pair is from 2010 again Nike ID on the tongue so this pair is a size nine and a half US if you're interested sneakerden.com all right last pair that has to do with Japan here you have it. This is the first real Nike ID that I'm showing you guys. All the other ones were obviously sort of special releases, special designs. This one is just a random Nike ID from 2012. Some of you will probably recognize the inspiration behind this colorway. Definitely inspired by the 1999 reverse purple city attack. The only difference here is that silver swoosh. I don't know if I'm a fan. I think it would have been cleaner with a white swoosh, but it's, it's not too bad. And and the leather is really really nice which is very typical of older Nike IDs and actually even modern day Nike Bayou's I would say have better leather than general releases especially on dunks this is a US 10 and this one reads be true on the tongue and the reason why this pair has to do with Japan is because the 1999 pair was a Ko.jp Japan exclusive release so that's definitely a tribute to that again available on my website now that I mentioned the be true to your school colorways perfect transition for the next set of Nike IDs that I'm about to show you guys so in 2017 so that's much more recent I think that Nike ID partnered with a few universities in the US and I have these two pairs from this program this is the Syracuse pair and this is a University of Texas pair what's cool about these pairs first of all the quality on these is really really nice uh, and also they are very special and rare pairs so the Texas pair is very similar to the Dunks from 1999 if you guys know about 1999 Japan exclusive dunks anything above a size 10 and a half is pretty impossible to find this is a size 12 and a half the colorway is pretty on point it's also just a University of Texas pair I really love the resemblance and also the fact that it's not just a colorway but also you have that University branding which makes them extra special and the Syracuse pair is no different you have that Syracuse s on the tongue and on the heel and and this is the same colorway as we've seen like the Futura Syracuse Dunks, that orange and obsidian colorway, very classic. This pair is a size 12 and a half and this is a size 14. Two very rare pairs from that NCAA Nike ID program. And actually this pair here is also college inspired 
but this one wasn't part of that Nike NCAA program. This is a UCLA colorway and it says Bruin for life on here, which uh, I will definitely agree that it's not as cool as having like the official logo or anything. This was just, you know how you can write a little text on the heel or on the tongue. The person who designed these in 2008 wrote Bruin for life, so must be a UCLA fan uh, or a student at the time. But still pretty cool to find an old Nike ID like this. And these are a size 14 as well. And now that we're on that sports subject, here are two pairs of Nike IDs from the NFL Nike ID program. First up, you have this pair of Houston Texans. The NFL program ran in 2012. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen the New York Jets pair that I posted a few months ago. And you might have seen that pair as well in the collection video that I shot with Bob in New York. Definitely check out that video. We're almost at 50,000 views on that one. So definitely give it a watch if you haven't already. These are the Houston Texans. You have the logo on the tongue. You have the branding here lasered in on the heel. And again, the Nike ID branding on the inside of the tongue as well. If you're an NFL fan back in the day, what better than be able to design your own shoe with your team colors, with your team logo. I think that's super cool. So the... Uh, so the Houston Texans pair is a size 11. And then I have a very similar, if you put them side by side, pair of New England Patriots, Dunk Highs this time. And this one is from 2013. So I guess it's a program that ran during the 2012, 2013 season, essentially the same colorway. But on this one, you have the Patriots logo instead of the Texans one and the branding on the heel as well. And this pair is a size nine. This pair of Nike IDs is special because of that toe box when i stumbled across this pair i just wanted to have it just to be able to kind of show people because i had never seen this sort of toe box before so it's essentially a patent leather dunk low this nike id is from 2008 as well and yeah just that toe box really what sets this shoe apart just never seen a toe box like that thought it was very special this pair is a size 8 it'll be available on my website as well I have seen different sizes of these uh, out there so it's not just one individual who designed these I think it was more like the sole collectors probably uh, very limited quantities but there there are a few of those out there it's not like a one of one and the label is interesting most of the night Nike ID boxes don't come with a label, at least from back in the day. And this one actually has like a regular Nike label, which is really interesting. And it even has a style code uh, right here, the SKU, and it says Nike Dunk Low Premium. It looks like it was some sort of release. All right, back on the Air Force One theme. This is really one of my favorite Nike IDs in my stash. Uh, these are just crazy. So this pair is from 2013 the materials used are croc skin and the colorway is very like new york knicks mets and i actually have another pair of nike ids from that same program you can see that the blue and the orange are exactly the same and they're both made in 2013 so I assume that they were designed with the same Nike ID program and this one has that see-through plastic material just like those classic invisible woman Air Force ones and yeah completely different vibe but from the same program uh, I definitely prefer these ones I think these are really crazy that blue midsole the croc skin material these are a size 12 and these are a size 11 and a half and on the subject of croc skin air force ones here's a quick look at the real croc skin air force ones that celebrated the 25th anniversary of the air force one in 2007 and if you look at this croc skin and this one and especially if you have it in hand the material isn't bad on the nike id but when you compare it to real uh, premium, premium leather, this is, uh, <laughs> this is much closer to plastic than to leather, but nonetheless, a very, very cool Nike ID. So the next two pairs that I'm gonna show you, I'm including in this video because the labels on these pairs read Nike Dunk Low X ID. There must be some sort of ID affiliation, but I don't think they are actually Nike IDs. Also, they came in uh, two different boxes. Both of them are beat up, uh, sad. So here you go. These are the two X ID Dunk Lows that I have. There are a few other ones out there. I've had another colorway in the past and I've seen 
other ones. This pair really reminds me of the linen Air Force Ones, very classic Air Force One colorway, but I'm not entirely sure what these are. It says 1920 on the heel. There's an embroidery on the toe cap as well, and I'm really not sure what it says on there. The materials are super premium on these. The liner is leather, super nice shoes, but just unfortunately not entirely sure about the story behind these. Same goes for this pair, and this one is a size 10 from 2006 and the labels actually has the 99999 digits which means it's a kind of like a sample the colorway i'd say is like a brown two tones of brown and this bright green super fire in my opinion but again very little information on these not sure what this represents and this also has that nike id on the tongue full leather lining super premium materials these are the xid pairs all right next up we have the supreme black cement dunks in the nike id version and the unreleased pink iteration of the shoe uh, which uh, which i really like just because of how outlandish this is. It's really interesting that Nike actually allowed you to literally replicate the original Supreme colorway. It's not even just the elephant print. You have the black, you have the red. So a lot of people recreated those given how old and limited the original Supreme dunks were. Even in 2013 when those ones released, the original Supreme SBs were already 10 years old at the time. I'm not surprised that so many people designed the kind Kind of cheap man version of the supreme dunk but i really really like this the nike ids also tell a story another 10 years later we can look back on the supreme sbs and now these and that's how you get crazy stuff like this as well which is pretty random but you can see that someone just wanted a crazy version of the supreme dunk i have two pairs of these this is a size 9 and i also have a size 8 us and these ones are a size 11 and i used to have a white one as well which was very similar to to the white cement SBs and I sold that one to Gary Harris and the NBA. Next up, the iridescent Air Force Ones. So I have this pair of Air Force One highs and this pair of Air Force One mids with the black midsole. I used to have a low version as well with like a crazy midsole that was like translucent all over. I really, really like these. I don't think it's something that I would wear personally, but just how crazy these are. Look at the way these colors reflect. That's the type of stuff that I love seeing with Nike IDs. Just something special that you wouldn't see on a regular release and even rarer than anything out there just because it's essentially one of ones. So these highs are a size US 11 and these are US 9. And just the only thing with these is I'm missing the sort of strap that would lock this strap in but selling these for a steal on my website so another crazy one this is the dubai nike dunk high id as well so the story behind these is that nike employees traveled to dubai for a sort of conference or something and there were different teams within nike there and they did a competition and the team that won the competition it was like an internal quiz or something like that would win these dunks it's not the dubai nike team that won it took place in dubai which is why it's called the dubai dunks and i really really like this pair the crackled the golden swoosh is crazy you have mesh on the mid panel here you have lasered details of dubai on the back part of the shoe yeah crazy lasered in details on the heel tag on the box says sample for dubai nike dunk high premium the pair is from 2010 and it's a us 10. it also reminds me of the grammy dunk highs which are also kind of gold crackled swoosh yeah and i've never had those unfortunately quick random one this is just a pair of dunk lows from 2013 and this one has a be true just like that reverse purple dunk highs so i guess uh, part of the same program these are a size 13 pretty cool as well this is the rarest shoe that i have in the collection definitely not the most recognizable pair but the rarest for sure you see even the box is very special here you go. So this is a Heiko Zalman dunk. Heiko Zalman is a German graffiti artist. He partnered with Nike and a magazine called 
Gutberg on this pair of dunks. Only 10 pairs made. The release was a fundraising for uh, the Red Laces campaign. Some of you might remember the Red Laces were sold like at Foot Lockers and stuff like that and it was a way of donating money for AIDS research. All the proceeds from the sale of the Heiko Zalman dunks went to the Red Laces campaign. I would guess that these were sold at auction although I'm not 100% sure. I really love this solid color gray. It's really a unique take on a dunk. Laser details on the mid panel. Pretty cool as well. And I don't know if this is handwritten signature or if this was printed but yeah it says Heiko Zalman. And this pair is dated 2007 and it has a Nike ID kind of branding on the size tag as well. These are for sale as well on the website. I've had these for at least two years now. Yeah I'm ready to let these go so. So this is a rare chance to own a 1 of 10 sneaker. So yeah check them out on the website or hit me up. Really really love this pair. So that's pretty much it with the old Nike IDs. Now I'm just going to quickly show you guys a few Nike by use that I have available. These are sort of unstucy dunk. I have a few sizes of those on the website. These I just had fun with. Uh, if you've watched my ice cream video, I'm a big fan of that pink and green combo. So I just designed those. It's kind of like mesh material all over. Size 13, I'm going to be selling those as well. By the way, when you guys are designing Nike IDs, do you prefer coming up with something completely original? or do you like kind of taking inspiration from something that already exists or that you can't really afford. For example, that's what I did with these Orchard Street Dunks. The real thing goes for like over $10,000. So I thought it was a, a fun way of kind of recreating that shoe. But yeah, let me know if you're more the type to take inspiration from something that already exists or to create something new from scratch. This pair inspired by the What The Be True To Your School Dunks, which were Japan exclusives in 2017. Biggest size made was a size 12. So I made a size 13 if anyone wants them. Finally, last pair that I'm gonna show in the video, Reverse Syracuse Dunks. I mentioned those in my Futura video. I think one of the very first Nike IDs that I picked up was this exact colorway. The pair was from 2006. When I got the reverse Syracuse in hand, I was like, these are so special. I'm a sucker for the Syracuse dunks and reverse colorways in general. So it was just the perfect match. And I've, I've mentioned that story, but that pair ended up going to Virgil and I decided to make 24 pairs of these, like a sort of hyper strike release. I never really ended up going ahead with the whole uh, release idea, but hey, I ordered the shoes so I still have a few left and I added a little detail here on the heel. It says Q's and this is obviously a short for Syracuse and it's a reference to the Kentucky PE's from 1985 on which it said cats on the heel which is a short for wildcats kentucky wildcats so i thought it was pretty cool to uh, reference that pe with the cues on the heel and kind of replicate that id i personally really connected with and also that has that virgil story attached to it so i still have a few sizes available of those as well so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed hope it wasn't too much at once yeah that's my nike id collection, selection, whatever you want to call it. Let me know in the comments what you think of Nike ID and of the pairs that I showed in the video and I'll see you guys next time.